Hi everybody, thank you for joining me on this Tuesday. Sorry I got a little bit of laugh in me, but my aide is sitting right next to me and she's been causing me trouble all morning long. Hi, and uh, so it's been a little bit of trouble trying to get the show done, but anyway, before I go on with today's video, I want to say that um, yesterday I had to film the video with my iPhone. Um, because I've been having computer trouble. Today we're up and running. The computer feels like up and running. Um, hopefully over the Christmas break I'll be able to get my computer fixed and tomorrow will be the last show that I film um, before Christmas and then I will be back on Monday, January 4th. So I hope to have all my computer issues figured out. Now on to today's video. It is not about the money. It is not about the money. Um, you guys, I want to talk to home health aides that are out there. Um, maybe you're thinking of becoming a home health aide because you think there's a lot of money in it. And, you know, it's an easy paycheck. And according to you, it's an easy paycheck. And I also want to talk to home health aides that have been in it for a while and that are discouraged because maybe you're getting ripped off by your provider or or maybe you're overworked. And so I, I want to talk to two different groups of people today. Those who want to go into home health care, maybe because they think there's a lot of money in it, and those who are in home health care and are discouraged. Let me talk to those who want to go into it first. First of all, let me say to you, it's not all about the money. Um, because if you go into home health care uh, just for that reason, I think you're going to be very disappointed. I've been in home health care as a client uh, for four years. And let me tell you something about the home health aides. They're overworked. They get taken advantage of. They don't get the pay that they deserve for everything they have to do from bed baths to personal care to running errands for uh, demanding clients they they get taken advantage of and they do a lot of work um, that they don't even get paid for and mostly the wage is between seven to maybe ten dollars an hour if you're lucky uh, the highest I've ever heard of a home health agency paying their in employees was thirteen dollars an hour and even then the aides that I talked to from there said they were getting ripped off as far as pay so if you're going into it strictly for the money you need to rethink your um, strategy now if you want to become a home health aide in the hospital I have heard that home health aides get paid a whole lot better in the hospital and they get um, benefits. Now I don't know if that's true in all hospitals across the country but I know that when I was in Indiana that's what I did here that the aides in the hospital did get paid uh, better money and they got benefits. But if you're going into strictly home health care um, where you're doing clients specifically just in the home and you're going into it for the money I think you're going to be sadly disappointed so you're going to want to rethink your strategy there. Uh, what you should be thinking about if you're wanting to go into home health care is wanting to be a blessing to the patient. Wanting to bring brightness to that patient's day because you don't know what they're going through. And so you want to try to be a blessing to them. And you really, I was just talking with my home health aide before I went on camera. And she said, and I agree, you really have to have a heart for this job if you're going to go do home health care and be there every day. It cannot really be about the pay. Now, I do agree that home health aides should get paid more. Sadly, I don't know if that will ever happen. I hope one day that it will. Um, now, quickly, so that this video is not very long, let me talk to those who have been in it for a while. Uh, first of all, let me say thank you. Uh, for everything that you do for patients like me. I'm getting emotional as I'm sitting here because me being in home health care for four years, I know what home health aides have been through. Uh, trust me, a lot of them, because I'm so high-functioning, they come and they vent. 
Uh, so, um, I'm not saying my home health aide does that now. In fact, she's really good. She doesn't do that. But um, a lot of home health aides that I had have came to me and vent, you know, about their work situation or whatever. And so I just, you know, I just want to say thank you for everything that you do to those who show up every day on time or sometimes even early and you stay over and you do your you do work that you're not really supposed to do um, I wanna say thank you for that and thank you for going above and beyond and hang in there and and I love you and I speak for all patients across the country thank you thank you thank you for what you do for patients like me every single day of the year all right, I hope this was an encouragement uh, to a lot of you. I hope this maybe gave some of you a wake-up call who are hoping uh, to go into home health care for a great amount of money. And I hope it will make you think. And I would love to hear what you have to say. I've been loving the viewer participation in my recent videos. So please give me a comment down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, please do so. I would like to get to 300 before the end of the year. That's this week and next week, so let's try and do it. And so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please like, favorite, and share this video. I would love to have you come on board at the Wheelchair Nick Network. I will see you tomorrow for the final show of 2015. Have a great day. Bye-bye.